some of the elements of the debt crisis that we are dealing with, mm -hmm. some of the elements of the you know economic policies are not simply attributable attributable to the M MPP. Mm -hmm. The MPP and the NDC have had a consensus about economic policy. The fight really has been about who will be in power and who will be sitting at the edge of the trough and helping themselves and their associates to it. Can you repeat that? NDC and MPP have had a consensus yeah, on economic policy. Yeah, in broad terms. In broad terms. Yeah, because the look, difference is in who comes to power. Yes. I mean, look, what we are implementing today, the foundations were laid by the policy choices of the PNDC. The PNDC, J. Rawlings, is a benefactor of the Ghanaian elite. He con they hate him, but he is their godfather. He created this economy with the choices made in the 80s. Some of us left the government because we saw the drift to the right, the choice of neoliberalism, and where it was likely to lead. The reasons were by the end of the rolling period, if you look at the regime's composition, it was no different from any of the preceding military governments. It's precisely because the elite felt comfortable with it. Let me tell you a personal story. I was one of Professor Mills' favorite students in the law faculty. He was very keen on me going to study, finish my PhD, to come to teach in the faculty because I had a scholarship from the law faculty. So when I decided to give up my studies to come to work for the PNDC, Professor Mills was very angry. And for the seven years that I'd given up my study and I was in Ghana, both working for the government and later on, you know, opposing it, Anytime Mills saw me, said, when will you stop this political madness and go and finish your degree and come back to teach? By the time I came back, he was working with Rawlings. Why? Because the regime had drifted to a place where he was comfortable enough yeah, to work for Conservative him. enough for him to join it. And wow. if you look at the kinds of people Jerry Rawlings liked, Justice, Anand, Mills, Mills. and those, those are archetypal elite leadership figures.